Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today let's see how we can import vendor bills in Odoo Photo. So we can create um, vendor bills for our purchase orders and it is also possible to create vendor bills directly from accounting. So when you go to accounting module, you can see here under vendors, we can see all the created bills and we can create new bill by clicking create button. So you can see um, inside our bill form so this is a draft vendor bill. You can add the vendor name, delivery address, bill reference, GST treatment, then payment reference. You can see some fields like bill date, due date, journal name. Then here we can add the invoice lines, which includes our product name, then the amount and related accounts and taxes quantity now. And we can see journal items and other information. So, it is also possible to import bill records. So for that, when you come under favorites, you can find the option that is import records. So you can import CSP or Excel file to order to your database. So here, if you want to download a template for uh, creating file, you can just click on this export all. So you can export all records. So when you click export all and open it, you can see all the records. So here we have two records already created in Uru. So it is possible to refer this and make uh, changes inside this file and create a new file. And it is also possible to select one. And when you come under action, you can see an option that is for export. It. So you can select multiple records and just export it. So when you click export, you can see all the included uh, columns, that is fields, and it is possible to add more fields. Like here you can see the variable fields and can search for fields from here. And it is possible to add one. So here you can see, when you scroll down, you can see the variable fields. So you can add currency, date, Then when you come below, you can see invoice lines. So when you unfold this, you can see the invoice line account. So you can add invoice line account. Then you can add company currency. Then due date. Then you can see the product reference like this way you can add the fields required fields details and then you can export the file as excel format or csv format so excel format is recommended because field formatting will be done automatically then after that you can just click on export and you can open it or you can save the file so i have already created a file let me open it and show you so here we have or account of move. So here, you can see have created a bill record. Uh, you can see the number, reference number, then invoice partner, invoice bill date, due date. Then you can see the unsigned amount, total signed amount, then the currency, date, journal. Then you can see the invoice line amount. Uh, product quantity so you can change it from here so i'm changing it to two quantity so you can see it is customizable desk uh, black and you can see the unit of measure then inverse line total and unit price so like this way you can see the details and then let me import it so let's come to favorites here you can find the option to load the file so you can load Excel or Excel or CSV file. So when you click load, uh, just open that. And when you open the file, here you can see option to map your columns with the fields. So here we can see already some columns that is fields are mapped. So from here we can change it.
and if you don't want to import some uh, columns just click on this close and it will be removed from the columns then uh, after that after adding the columns just click test so you can test it and check whether there are any errors so when you click test you can see everything seems valid so here we don't have any errors just click on import and when you click on import you can see that here uh, one record is imported you can see this added one record added successfully and you can see status here so when you open this you can see all the details given inside the file product name count quantity you can see this two you can see the price here then the bill then you can see it is already uh, so it is in draft state so you can confirm the bill and continue the process so we have imported bill using excel format and same way we can import bill in csv format but in the case of csv file we can that is formatting is not done automatically we can do it manually so So that's all about importing vendor bills in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.